2,000 years ago, Jesus prayed, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But it turns out this is a slow kingdom coming. We're still fighting against human trafficking, racial injustice, poverty, hunger, the devastation of natural disasters. We're fighting for clean water, reconciliation, a living wage, education. But those of us who do justice, most of us we can confess, sometimes this feels like a never kingdom coming. In the past 22 years in my life and in my work, I've sometimes been paralyzed by the complexity of trying to help others. I've huddled in bed during daylight hours under the weight of sadness and discouragement. Other times I've rushed to try to get good things done and along the way didn't treat others the way I should. I'm still regularly confessing my faults and my longing for justice, that God's kingdom would come on earth as it is in heaven. And though I wish this weren't such a slow kingdom coming, I've also seen people be incredibly generous with their time and their talents and their money uh, in ways that are inspiring about humanity. They testify to God's love. I've seen ingenuity make a difference in people's lives and, and people in brutal circumstances make the most of opportunities. I've seen hope stay tenaciously alive when by any measure it should be dead. No, these changes often don't come as quickly as we want. But when we pursue God's kingdom by doing justice and loving mercy and walking humbly, change does come. This pursuit is anchored in five practices, attention, confession, respect, partnering, and truthing. And in these practices, we can learn how to live into the slow kingdom coming. In practicing attention, we focus on real needs, we help where we can best help, and develop relationships. In practicing confession, we're freed. We're freed to work for the healing of others and for our own healing. Practicing respect, we let the suffering of others shape how we give, how we engage in politics, and how we order our ambitions. These practices, they're for you and for me. They're for churches and communities and charities. They help us to engage in a life of justice taking an honest approach to our angels and demons, our, our saintly and sinning selves. They're for being able to do good without having to hide from the bad. And in them, we find the freedom to handle what we can. And we find what we're called to. We find the freedom to keep doing justice better because we're all called to be part of God's kingdom coming.